Did you know that the average person spends two and a half hours on social media every day? Well, one day I woke up and said, what would my life be like if I just detoxed, walked away from it all from social media? Well, one day turned into 90 days and it truly changed my life. So during my 90 days of being off of social media, I faced numerous challenges, right? There was the fear of missing out. There was the urge to check my phone constantly and the temptation to reactivate my accounts and just download it back on my phone, those are real struggles. But I also noticed the many benefits and the changes in my behavior. I was more present in my interactions. I picked up new hobbies. I learned new things about myself. I had a sense of liberation that I had not felt in years, y'all. I had this empowerment, this motivation, and I was truly, truly, truly unstoppable. So if you're asking me, was this journey perfect? And was it just filled with roses and butterflies every step of the way? Absolutely not. But the more I practiced this discipline, the more I lifted this weight, the more I was able to rise above it and ended up, hey, 90 days y'all hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are talking about reasons why you should detox from social media well i did this journey uh, one day i just realized how much i was just swiping and scrolling and really wasting a lot of time where i could have been productive or built relationships or called a family member cleaned my home right and so today we are really going to dive in just some benefits of what can happen when you decide to detach and detox. I knew that detoxing from social media was not a debate when I would wake up in the morning and the first thing I would do was grab my phone, go to my emails and start swiping on my phone instead of reading my word, sitting in silence, maybe going to exercise, all things that would truly make me a more holistic person. And so I just realized that I was really glued to it. Um, and there's like this dopamine release that happens when we're swiping it. So I did my due diligence, I did my research, and I really discovered ways that I can replace that feeling of satisfaction in my word, in working out, in building relationships. And so the very first thing that I learned while I was um, detoxing from social media is that it allowed me to get closer to God. So a lot of people are asking, you know, how do I read my Bible? How do I grow in my spiritual disciplines? And the first question that I always ask is, what are the distractions that is competing for your attention? And so when I deleted Instagram from my account, I deleted TikTok. Oh, TikTok is TikTok is dangerous, y'all. But when I deleted those things from the interface of my phone, I was forced to replace it with those things that were nourishing, nourishing to my spirit. So I would put my Bible near my nightstand. I would have my journal and pen ready to go when I woke up. And that was a way that I was able to hear from God clearly. I was able to get through chapters of the Bible. I was able um, to even join a um, virtual Bible study, something that I probably wouldn't have found had I not been searching for it. And so it is so important to know that God is wanting to speak to you and download some things to you, but our social media apps and the followers that we have, they're having more influence than our God, and it should be the other way around. The second benefit of detoxing from social media is that I was able to reinvest my time time and energy. Now, I know I started off saying that two and a half hours are devoted um, for the average person, but if you were to be honest, there are some days when you spend more than two and a half hours on social media. I'm not trying to get in your business, but I'm just keeping it real, y'all. And so when I reallocated that time, I was able to get through books that I had been putting on hold for months. I was able to try new recipes. I was able to um, meal prep. I was able to really connect with my 
family members and have schedules in place where I make phone calls and, and able to answer text messages. And so when you delete social media, you have to ask yourself, what am I going to do with this time? What are some goals? What are some tasks that I've been holding out and out on and that I will be able to tackle during this time? You have to understand that the enemy is the author of confusion. And so many of us lay our heads on our pillows at night saying, I wish I could have done that, or I wish, you know, I got this thing done. Well, when you eliminate that distraction, which is social media, right? Which is that comparison, which births self-sabotage, which births so many other things, you're able to think clearly and look at what is in front of you, managing your time and your energy in such a more intentional space and posture. The third benefit of um, detoxing from social media is that you're able to look inwardly on ways to grow. So when I began to look inwardly, y'all, I began to have conversations with myself that I probably would not have had had I been on the treadmill. I began to look inwardly. I began to surround myself around people and practitioners that would help me rise to the next level, right? So whether that was me going to therapy, whether that was me having conversations with friends that I had not talked to in quite some time, whether that was me realizing that I needed to rid myself of certain people and mindsets. So you have to understand that when you um, invest this time in yourself, you are going to see the fruit of your reward. Um, one of the things that the enemy really placed in my, my mind was his mindset of like missing out or as an entrepreneur, you know, I had to get content out. This is how I gain um, traction in ministry and just reach more disciples. And so um, when I looked inwardly, I said, okay, Christian, there are other ways to get to your end goal. And that was actually how I discovered Hootsuite, which is a scheduling platform for social media where I was able to just really produce my content without having to go on social media. So you have to understand that there's gonna be barriers, there's gonna be um, voices, there's gonna be people saying, well, you can't afford to get offline or you can't afford to not know what's happening in your, in your inner circle. But I'm here to tell you that when you slow down and you really dig deep into the depths of your creativity, of your circle, you will be surprised with the solutions that you're able to come up with. So I definitely encourage you to spend more time with yourself. Um, give yourself credit, give yourself grace, uh, remind yourself of just who you are and how powerful you are. And so I was able to just come out of this season just more energized and more invigorated than Ever. The very next uh, benefit of detoxing was the discipline that I gained. Like you develop discipline like none other. I cannot tell you how many times I would grab my phone and instantly want to swipe. And then my spirit is like, no, no, no. And so what I learned is that if I develop discipline in this area, that this discipline would transfer into other areas of my life. When I was off social media, I was working out routinely. Right. I again said earlier that I was spending time in my word. I was cooking more. And so that discipline just transferred into other areas of my life. You have to understand, y'all, social media is not just um, technology. There's also psychology that goes into it. So why are you so stuck on it? It's because they hire scientists to go over um, the colors, the fonts right? The placement of buttons to make sure that we stay on such platforms. And so you really have to break yourself. You have to break the, 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 the intense connection and connect to something that fulfills you in a greater way. I was able to discover new hobbies. I was able to pick up pickleball. There are so many things that are on the other side when you lean into the process. So yes, it takes discipline. I even started um, watching um, and reading like these news articles in the newspaper. I probably would have never done that had I been on social media um, because that's how we get our news, right? It's more gossip, if anything, y'all, to be completely honest. But I was able to pick up new traits. I was able to have new hobbies because I began to develop discipline and consistency in other areas of my life. The last thing, y'all, is I got my power back. Oh my goodness. 
When I, when I was off social media, I realized just how much validation and approval is tied to posts and videos, right? I would post about engagements and I would post about content that I spent so much time on and I would look at the likes and the views as if that really spoke to my success. But I realized that success is subjective. Yeah, so success is subjective and no longer was I I more intrigued and engaged with knowing what was going on in the life of other people, but I began to prioritize myself in a different way. I began to show up in a different way. I began to have resilience in a different way. And so you have to understand that when you are able to detox for a week, a month, um, 30 days, 90 days, however long, you have to understand that there is so much to gain. Now people ask, okay, why do I detox versus just deleting? There are some people that may decide to delete their social media altogether. It's not their thing, it's not their jam, and that's completely fine. But if you are a person that you're just, maybe you just need a spiritual fast, you need to really reconnect with yourself, connect with God, rid yourself of distractions, really focus on a goal, get this task done, then yes, you can delete it. Now, the time that you delete it is up to you and God. I just ask that you pray and receive counsel because, you know, God may not require you to do 90 days like, like I did, right? But when you're in the presence of God and you're asking God those questions, God will reveal those individual answers to you. And so I just want to end this video by saying there is so much significance on the other side. There is such a beautiful journey of slowing down, reconnecting with yourself, finding out new insights, growing, detoxing, and showing yourself that you actually have the strength, the determination, and the discipline to get things done. So I just want to encourage you, be obedient to what your spirit is saying, and just know that when you walk away from it, it's always going to be there. You can always come back to it. You're not missing out. There's no FOMO here, okay? All right, guys. Well, I thank you so much for um, tuning in to this video. There is a link inside the bio where you can receive a free newsletter if you sign up. And so this newsletter comes out every single Monday. It is going to teach you some spiritual nuggets of how to apply the Bible to your everyday life. Well, subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, and continue to rise because the world is waiting. Bye-bye.